Alrighty, here's the next step in the process of getting the, the 152 restored. Like I said, it's winter time. You can't work. You can't fly. There are some nice days, but unfortunately, my engine is down right now. So. I should have some pretty cool videos of that when the time comes. It's in the engine shop right now. They haven't started working on it yet, but when they do, they'll let me come in there and see exactly what's going on. So, but here's kind of the next step here. I'm putting the insulation in. This is one side of it. There's the other part inside. Just gonna help it stay a little warmer in the winter time. So. I just got this in today. This one in really easy, actually. So the next step will be I got to clean up, take a Scotch Brite pad and clean up some of this aluminum, a little bit of the corrosion on here. This plane lived in Florida, so when planes live in Florida, corrosion is just part of life. But it's not bad, actually. So I'm going to clean this up really good. I've got a paint. Uh, I don't know the name of it offhand, but I'll show you when that video comes. And you spray. I got it from the shop here. The guy, the mechanic here, got it for me. He said, wipe it down, spray it, and you're good to go. So that's the next step. Clean this up. And then start putting the panels in. I actually set one panel up right here. Sorry for the light. That's what's going to... This is the upper panel. That's what that looks like. I'll have better videos of this. Let me move this light so it's not so bright. That's a little better. It's just kind of sitting up here right now. It's got to be mounted and screwed, but you can kind of see what it looks like. That's the color the interior is going to be. I got to splice the wires together for that compass. There's a piece of sheet metal. There's a piece of aluminum angle iron that goes there that holds the front of that on. But I got to splice those wires together. I need some really small, small uh, wire splicers for that. And next, I'll be putting in my panel. I got, I'm waiting for that to show up. My lower panel, everything's disconnected. All of those are all new fuses. You can see the wires, everything's just hanging, ready to go. So when the panel comes in, I'll disconnect each one of them switches. I got new switches, new master switch. And I will get that new panel put in. And I will obviously label every wire <laughs> before I disconnect it. There's one thing you learn about when you're working on your airplane is patience. Because if you screw something up, it's way expensive to have a mechanic fix it. You can do it yourself, that's great. So this really teaches you patience when you're working on this. And I'm sure a lot of guys watching this video can relate to that. So anyways, here's just the next quick step of the interior of the 152. A few people ask me already what happened with the bees. There's just not, nothing's going on right now with the bees. So this is other stuff that I have going on. I thought maybe people would be interested in seeing. So anyways, here's what the inside looks like with the insulation. Next step is to clean this up and I'll show you. And I'll, I'll show you a can of the spray paint that you spray on here uh, to help with the corrosion. It kind of like covers it up. I'm thinking that's what it does. They just told me, wipe it all down, spray this, you're good to go. So it must protect it, obviously. But up here in Illinois, you don't got to worry about salt water. So anyways, this is my story for today. Wanted to show everybody here really quick. It's insulated. Now we start putting the panels on, which all that is over here. There's all the brand new plastic. Everything's ready to go. There's part of my instrument panel. There's the light that goes up there. And if you wonder how I keep warm in here, right there. I turned it off so it wouldn't kick on when I'm making the video here. This thing is really a lifesaver in here, except the diesel fuel. I'm not sure why in the winter time it's supposed to be switched over to a diesel that doesn't gel up here anyways and I've even put, been putting additive in it and sometimes it gels up on me and it takes me a little while to get it started but this thing's a lifesaver just point right towards the plane you're ready to go it keeps you nice and warm in here today it's not that cold actually and it's keeping my it's keeping my hanger about what does it say up there almost 50 degrees so I came in here with like 40 so and there's my doors my doors are done I redid the panels on the doors I've got all my other various parts. There's my new carpet, my new, my new glove box. Everything's ready to go. So as I do step by step here, I'll make videos on this and show everybody. But here's my, just looks like it looks like at home. My tool bench is a mess, but I know right where everything's at. So anyway, just wanted to show what we're doing here with the 152. Like I said, when the engine 
I can't wait to see an engine in front of my plane again. Um, but when I, they start actually working on the motor, they'll let me come in there and they'll show me and I can video and they won't care. I know some of those guys in there, so. And other people have made videos on their uh, engines being rebuilt too. So I'll have some really cool videos of them tearing that motor apart. Then they actually, when, they, when it's done, they put it on, a, on like a stand and they actually run it for two hours with a prop on it and make sure everything's working right. So I'll have videos of all that when the time comes. So anyways, today's episode with like the installation is done. So hope you guys are enjoying these. Leave me a comment, let me know, and I will talk to you guys pretty quick here in the next video. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.